impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds? There are countless questions one could think to ask regarding the original Xenoblade Chronicles, but one that I'm sure no one ever got bored enough to ask until today is, was that one Defense Force soldier in the opening of the game lying when he said it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds? Well, I got nothing better to do because classes don't start for another two days, so I decided to test that. This is, of course, not a particularly difficult experiment to perform. All I really need to do is start where the mobile artillery crashed in the residential district and work my way down the straight line it takes to get into the military district and see if I can get the pop-up saying I've arrived to appear in less than 40 seconds, but it is worth noting that there are two walking speeds to consider. The first is just normal vanilla out-of-the-box shulk, and the second is with the maximum amount of quick-step gems equipped. If you didn't know, there's a type of gem called Quick Step that increases the run speed of, I believe, just that character, not other characters if that one's still in the party and someone else is in the lead. But, unfortunately, and I wish they buffed this in DE, it caps out only at 25% additional speed. So, yeah, I would have loved a sprint button or, like, Quick Step capping out at 200% additional speed because Xenoblade 1's areas are not the best designed areas in the series, don't let anyone convince you otherwise, because there is a lot of wide open space that just kind of exists for the sake of having wide open space and making the areas big with nothing to do in it, and you can't traverse very quickly like you can in both of the other games. So, that digression aside, there are two speeds to consider. I'm gonna start out with the quick step one, since that's more likely to make it, and then do the normal speed one, just to see if that can also do it. So, with quick step, we have this. And, yeah, comfortably arrived within 40 seconds, so at least using gem powers, that guy was completely lying. But let's see if this holds true without Quick Step. So I'm just going to remove the gems and go for another run. As you can see, both times I started right next to the Defense Store soldier there, who's like, has that one quote that you could apply to social distancing as well as not going near a destroyed piece of machinery. So, this is the no quick step run and yeah this one also makes it in under 40 seconds so i guess that soldier really was lying or was actually an idiot like vanguard posits but wait what if they weren't just trying to get back from the place where the artillery crashed, but from elsewhere in the colony within 40 seconds, and them trying to make that impossible speed is what did cause them to crash? That is a bit of a different problem, because we don't actually know where they were starting from, but just out of curiosity, I kind of wanted to see how far you could get in 40 seconds starting from the military district, and see where they could not have started from. Basically, I put Quick Step back on, I'm going to use this little line on the floor and just kind of run. There are basically two directions you can go, one through the residential and one through the commercial district, so I'm just going to kind of time how far I can go in 40 seconds. This first footage you see here is going through the residential district route, and yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm not a speedrunner, so I don't know optimal movement or anything. I'm not good at properly cutting corners or anything. I do know that jumping does seem to slow your speed down a little bit, at least in Definitive Edition and not in the original game, because you could do some really wacky stuff with the original game's jump physics. But if you keep watching along here, I'm not going to talk through the entire 40 seconds unless I do, but by the time 40 seconds hit, you can't quite see the exit of the path through the residential district that leads to Outlook Park. It took a bit closer to 50 for me to actually reach what most people would consider to be the edge of the actual colony, so I guess starting from one side or even the far side of that bridge would be a reasonable place for them to not be able to get to in 40 seconds. 
and secondly, going the commercial district route. Unfortunately, this path is a bit more maze-like, so I half forgot which way I was going, because I'm an idiot and don't remember my Colony 9 geography properly. And also, as you can see, I clipped that Nopon along the bridge and tried to jump over it, forgetting that you can't do that in this game, which cost me a bit of time. Which is unfortunate, because I think if I didn't make those mistakes, and remembered exactly the direction I was supposed to be going, and of course, like, tightened up my movement and stuff, I would have actually been able to get outside what most people would consider the bounds of Colony 9 within the 40 seconds. It took roughly 42, approaching 42 and a half, for me to reach the near side of the bridge next to Dunban's house, and Dunban's house, at least in the commercial district lobe of Colony 9, is the furthest out from the center of the colony building, so I'd figure once you get past it, or at least get the landmark for the main entrance, you'd be considered no longer in the colony. So, roughly 43 seconds it took for me to leave the actual colony, and I made some mistakes. So if I didn't make those mistakes, I think it's reasonable to be able to leave the colony in that direction from the military district in 40 seconds, so I guess that means basically anything in the commercial district couldn't be what that Defense Force soldier was talking about. Now, am I overanalyzing a throwaway line in a comedic scene at the beginning of the game that has no bearing on everything else in the intricate, well-woven, and wonderful plot of Xenoblade Chronicles? Yes, I am. Do I care? No, I don't. Am I stopping this video now because I've run out of things to say? Yes. Goodbye. Subscribe. See you next time.